Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my YouTube channel Civil Engineering with Danish. In this short video, I'm going to talk about components of bridge. In this diagram, you can see all the components of bridge which are mentioned and I'm going to explain one by one. I want to start from foundation. This is foundation. You can see what is foundation. Foundation is the base of bridge that transmits the loads from piers abutments and other components to the supporting strata. Now abutment. What is abutment? This is abutment. Abutment is the substructure at the ends of a bridge span or dam supporting superstructures. An abutment in a bridge is a structure that supports the bridge in both directions horizontally as well as in vertically. The bridge abutment connects and transfers the bridge load to the ground. Now pier. This is pier. Pier is an intermediate vertical support that holds the deck of the structure. Now bed level. Bed level is the ground which a river flows over. HFL, highest flood level. And what is HFL? It is the level of the highest flood over recorded or the calculated level for the highest possible flood in past 50 years. Expansion joint. Expansion joints allow the concrete to naturally expand and contract without cracking. Now curve. The edge where raised sidewalk or road median reservation meets a street or other roadway. Approach slab. Approach slabs are intended to provide a smooth transition between roadway and pavement of the bridge. The dark color you can see this is bearings. The load received by decks are properly and safely transmitted in the substructure with the help of bearings. Now deck. The digging is considered as the road of the rail surface of the bridge. Girder or beam. Girder or beam is the part of superstructure which bends along the span. And this is cross girder, you can see. Cross girder. Cross girder are usually connected to the main girders by bolting. Intermediate transverse web stiffness are provided at each cross girder connection. Pile cap. Pile cap is the topmost part of a pier which transfers the load from superstructure to the piers. Effective span. The effective span is the distance between the centers of two supports. From this point to this point, the span we call effective span. Clear span. Clear span is the space between inside surfaces of piers or other vertical supports. So this is end of part today. Subscribe the channel and thanks for watching video.